tonight. Uh, post game press conference, game four, NCAA Nashville Regional. We have Vanderbilt head coach Tim Corbin. Coach, if you would, an opening statement, please. Yeah, we just lost. I mean, good team. They played well. Questions? Two spots with, with bases loaded. Uh, how, how frustrating was that? What was, I guess, what could you have done differently in that spot? Well, I mean, we hit the ball well. I mean, we hit the ball in the middle part of the field about as hard as we could. Um, so, listen, the effort of the kids and their attack to the ball was, was good. We just didn't get the big hit uh, when, when we needed it. But I, I thought our at-bats were pretty good. We were making hard contact. We were certainly, uh, I thought, mentally ready to, to get back into that ball game. I, I didn't. I didn't doubt at all that, that we, we wouldn't. I thought, thought we'd win that game. I think they, the kids did, too. We just came up short. It felt like a tough night to pitch early the way the ball carried. Is that the way you saw it? Um, yeah. I mean, it, you know, Thompson's ball took off. It jumped off his bat. I don't know what the hell, you know. And he hit the ball well. He spun it well, I guess. Um, it was a good at bat. And really, a lot of their at bats. I mean, my God, Shade, what do you follow off? Two hundred balls. I mean, he had an eleven and a thirteen pitch at bat. Jesus. I mean, that's a, those are pretty good at bats right there. Uh, yeah. I mean, they're they're a good offensive team. We uh, we handed them a couple runs early, but they earned that four run. Uh, but I thought Grayson Moore did a hell of a job. He pitched really well. To, to keep the game right where, where where it was. But you know what? I'm going to move forward. If you were to face Oregon again, you know, what do you think you need to do pitching-wise to counter that, you know, how, how many balls they're fouling off and everything like that? Not to let them hit as well. I mean, you know, Aria, Jesus, you know. You got to pitch better. You got to execute better than what we did first part of the game. I thought, I thought Grayson Moore pitched really well after the fifth. He executed well, uh, landed his breaking ball. He mixed his m mixed mixed the ball up pretty well. We we just we just didn't execute real well at the beginning of the game. Uh, and you know we got we we now we competed. You know Hunter certainly competes, <clears throat> but you can tell he wasn't as sharp as he has been in the past. Was that just Russ? Was that? <coughs> Oh, you get, you got to give them credit. I mean, that's a good hitting team. They're physical. Um, you know, they're like the teams we see in our league. Physical, can move. Uh, Nishida is a pain in the ass. I mean, you know, Jesus. Um, he just gets on base. Um, he's tough, tough to keep off base. Um, good player. Where are Owen and Ginther at health-wise? They're fine. Yeah. I mean, you know, I, I'm sure Hunter Owen would have liked to build up more volume getting to this point in the season, but he didn't have the ability to. So he's just doing the best he can. The same, the same spot has been reviewing the win three straight games that you guys were in the SEC tournament. That's right. That you guys can, can take from that experience? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it, you know, whether we won or lost tonight, it's still the same thing. You know, it's a one game one game regional that's all it is it was a one game tournament when we lost to florida and that's how how you have to look at it uh we're wired for for this you know i don't i don't worry about that the the, the toughest game tomorrow is, is going to be first first one xavier got to mentally and physically be ready to play i know it's early to ask but have, have you thought of how you were pitching tomorrow no i just walked over here to talk to you guys i haven't even gone to the bathroom so, no, no, I don't know yet. Anything else for Coach? <clears throat> All right, thank you. Thanks, guys.